Hello, my name is Craig and uh, I'm from Wagga Wagga and we've come here this Sabbath to uh, hand out literature, the great controversy and steps to Christ to those here at the rally and uh, we still remember it's God's holy Sabbath and we rest in his love and we worship him and yet we're here to, uh, to reach out to others that they may know the love of Jesus as well and we praise God for that. Thank you very much. All day out, help us to be there and just be with Hoodie. Oh Lord, just protect him, but give him, give him intestinal fortitude. Give him bravery, give him courage. Don't let um, the few, you know, the few evil darts um, bother him. Just help him to press on the upward way. And help us to remember you and fill us with thy Holy Spirit. Keep our vessels clean mm -hmm. and the right side up yes. that we may be filled with the, uh, the latter rain and the, the glorious light that unites with the third angel may shine upon yes. us. Yes. And that we may be co-laborers with Jesus. Let us sound the proclamation. Give us a part in your work. Yes. This day that we may, we may be a light to others. Help us to be a strong influence. Yes. I ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and Amen. My name is Brad Magus and uh, I'm here in Canberra. Uh, I go to College Church and uh, we're here to distribute some uh, books to the people. Tens of thousands of protesters file onto the lawns of Parliament House. I'm a grandmother. I'm here for our children. Marching along Commonwealth Bridge to the doorsteps of power. One of the biggest protests the capital has seen in years. Hello, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Watch. And that Saturday rally on the lawns of Parliament House was the biggest yet. Former Qantas pilot Graham Hood resigned over the company's vaccine policy and is furious that the protesters are all dismissed as extremists. They've lost their jobs, they've lost their hope. We want the borders open, we want the vaccine mandates dropped, we want our kids protected and not forced to be jabbed. And today I have to say, I don't rally on Saturday unless I come to church because I'm a Sabbath-keeping Seventh-day Adventist and I'm not ashamed of it. But I'm telling you this, I am here today in church and you are the church. You are. And I thank Almighty God that I can stand here and say that. Now I tell you, when I first made that rant, I got swamped with thousands of destitute souls who were reaching out, who saw something in me that might be worth listening to. I listened to them and my heart broke for them and we tried to support some of them and the greatest feeling they had was that they were all alone and I said, don't worry, there's plenty more of you. Look around! Look around! But since I started speaking out, every time I go to a rally, there are people grabbing me saying, make sure you say this, don't say that, don't pray, don't mention God. I'm getting pulled from every which way and it's driving me nuts. So I want to say this to every one of you because it benefits you to know this. I claim Galatians 1.10, for I speak to please God, not me. So listening to Graham Hood was uh, a real privilege and a real very inspiring just standing here listening to him sh share. Uh, when was the last time we heard a Seventh-day Adventist from the front being able to, to, spe to speak to thousands of people and maybe even millions of people online? Uh, I guess his, his courage, his commitment to stand for people, to stand for, for our children is, is something to be admired. And just not, be, not afraid of sharing the gospel from the front.
uh, and un unashamed of the gospel. As Paul says, he is unashamed of the gospel. He was unashamed of the gospel, sharing up the front and just telling people, look, I, d I don't want to please anybody. I just want to, s whatever I say, I want to please God. And so I guess that's a great example for us as well to whatever we say, whatever we do, maybe please God and not man. And if we do that, men will be bet bettered and God will be honored. So it's such a blessing. Uh, hi, my, my name's Rod. Uh, I go to the Roman Terrace Church plant up at Roman Terrace. Um, I've come down here to hand out books to people that are really hungry. Um, it's absolutely amazing, um, just the response. Um, you get the odd negative, but most of it's great response. And uh, every, everyone's just thirsty and hungry for all these books. And uh, we're just giving out thousands and thousands of them and we brought down 600 Bibles, they're virtually all gone. Um, it's just been an incredible response. It's, uh, um, it's well worth uh, doing if you get the chance. Anyone who's listening or watching, come out and share your, uh, your story with people and share, you know, give books out and Bibles and the Lord's coming back and this is what he wants us to do. And we've been here today just helping support people, welcome them and to share faith with them in terms of Jesus Christ and to pray with them and to just make them feel welcome and to be with them and help them with water and um, toilets and anything else. Hi, my name's Mark Mason. We've been giving books out in the rallies for six, six to eight weeks. We've given out over 30,000 books. Uh, we're here in Canberra. It's just amazing of the amount of people asking questions, want to know the future. Uh, we have the answers. So we're so blessed as Adventists to have uh, our group from uh, Melbourne, our group from Sydney, our group from Brisbane, to be here, to be united as a very powerful source. As you can see, to give out the books here, it's an amazing time that we're living in. Been involved in ministry for over 30 years. I've never seen people so hungry to receive our message and grabbing books out of our hands. We're living in amazing times.